Preview. Preview. Visitors to Detroit, Michigan, or Newark, New Jersey, or Memphis, Tennessee airports may have been exposed to measles after cases have been confirmed in two international travelers, according to health officials. They said this Tuesday. But people who received the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccines twice as children are considered protected for life. Well, at least according to the Federal Centers for Disease Control and Prevention officials. Others who have not been vaccinated or had only one shot could come down with this disease, which can be life-threatening, according to the CDC. Now, here's the specifics of their report. Again, this is their report, the CDC. Detroit. People who visited the North Terminal at Detroit's Metropolitan Airport on the afternoon of March the 6th likely were exposed to highly contagious virus, according to the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Someone was infected and could develop symptoms as late as next week. So if you were there on March 6th in the afternoon, there's a high possibility that you were exposed to this contagious disease. If you were in Newark, New Jersey, passengers in terminals B and C in the Newark Liberty International Airport also were exposed and could develop symptoms as late as April the 2nd, according to the New Jersey Department of Health. And if you were in Memphis, Tennessee, the young child diagnosed with measles arrived in Newark from Brussels and then flew to Memphis International Airport in Tennessee that evening, exposing others all along the way, New Jersey health officials are saying. Uh, In Detroit, anyone who was in customs or baggage claim in the airport's north terminal between 2 and 5 p.m. Eastern on March the 6th, that day should seek medical attention immediately from their primary care providers if they develop any kind of symptoms of this disease, according to Michigan health officials and the news release. But call the doctor first. A person with measles sitting in a reception area waiting for treatment can then transmit the disease to the other people sitting there. On March the 9th, cheerleaders from 39 states potentially are exposed to the mumps. On March the 8th, HIV and syphilis clusters in teens and adults were found uh, out of control in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And on February 27th, New York City officials have issued measles warnings after tourists leave a virus trail. Uh, Detroit's Metropolitan Airport is the hub for Delta Airlines in its McNamara Terminal. Various airlines have international flights, many based in the North Terminals. They're in Detroit. They will fly to Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany, Great Britain, Japan, Jordan, Korea, Mexico, and the Netherlands. So passengers that were in the Newark New Jersey airport between 1245 and 9 p.m. on Monday could have been exposed to the measles virus. New Jersey officials are also saying that it was not immediately known what flight the infected child boarded to Memphis and when the youngster arrived. But United does have a 7 p.m. flight that left Monday evening, that flew to Memphis, that arrived at 9, 10 p.m. Central. So if you were on that flight, you are highly susceptible to potential um, infection of this very serious strain of measles, according to the CDC. All right. 
So this is a uh, this is a situation that's got people very concerned. This is an article just come out by USA Today, uh, and they, it came out yesterday evening, and they're alerting the uh, pu- the the public of this potential measles outbreak. Uh, it is a very severe case of measles. Uh, uh, it, it's just, they're really all over this. And I haven't seen this kind of um, urgency uh, before on just the measles. But this isn't just any kind of measles. This is a very serious strain of measles. So we're, we're letting you know that in case you were out there traveling and were in those airports at those times. Yeah.